the simian immunodeficiency virus, which is the ancestral family of viruses that gave rise to the HIV viruses, was believed to be maybe just only a couple of hundred years old. I knew the couple of hundred year date had to be wrong because the biology and geography of SIV is such that it goes from the Atlantic Ocean to the Indian Ocean and all the way to the tip of Africa. It would take many, many thousands of years to spread that far. Couldn't have happened in a couple of hundred years. A way to test this more certainly was the island of Bioko, which is off the coast of the mainland, was a peninsula uh, and attached to the mainland during the Ice Age uh, when the water levels fell. When the, uh, when the water levels rose at the end of the Ice Age, uh, Bioko became an island and trapped those monkeys on the island. If they were SIV infected and SIV existed uh, 10,000 years ago, well, it would still be there. And we collected samples on the island of Bioko and uh, did DNA testing and sequencing and did a, a phylogenetic tree and actually did identify SIV on Bioko. We found four different viruses there. They were highly genetically divergent, uh, indicating that SIV was already old when the end of the Ice Age came. And then we applied those same computer models with this sort of new calibration date dating from the Ice Age and were able to push back to a much more accurate uh, estimate of the age of SIV, the original SIV when it, uh, when it began in Africa, to 75,000 years at a minimum and probably more than a million. So in particular, we studied the drill, which is a, a beautiful animal. Uh, and the drills on Bioko are a subspecies of the drills on the mainland. The most important point for the ancient age of SIV and HIV is that SIV has been on the African continent for 75,000 years and probably a million. Human beings have been in the same area for 50,000 years. So why didn't the HIV AIDS epidemic begin 50,000 years ago? How could we have had this constant exposure to SIV for tens of thousands of years and no AIDS emerged? So that's the major question that it, that it focuses on, that something happened in the 20th century to change this relatively benign monkey virus into something that was much more potent and could start the epidemic. We don't know what that trigger was. We don't know what that flashpoint was, but there was one. There had to be one because SIV has been in Africa for many thousands of years. It's not new as the computer models have previously shown. It's old and therefore we have to explain why the AIDS epidemic began in the 20th century. That's the most meaningful connection between this study and the modern HIV virus.